channel, folks. If you haven't subscribed, do it. Flop and Groper. Uh, I'm going to put his channel in the description. Need I present no longer the greatest, one of the greatest masterpieces I've ever seen on YouTube. We're going viral. We're going viral. Hi, baby. What are you always doing on the computer all the time? It's been months. You're all pale and hunched over like Schmeagle from Lord of the Rings. And you haven't taken out the trash in three weeks. I'm worried I'm losing you, and I... Worry not, my love. I'm glad you finally asked. I trade cryptocurrencies, you see. Cryptocurrency? Yes, cryptocurrency. A cryptocurrency is just digital money. It uses decentralized blockchain technology as opposed to the current central banking system and each person acts like their own bank, verifying each individual transaction on a public ledger, which is then cross-verified by everyone on the network in a matter of seconds, thus guaranteeing trust between private individuals and removing the need for a central government to ensure mutual exchange of goods and services between people is the future of money. But none of that made any sense. Digital money, mutual exchange, and what even is a crypto? Decentralized blockchain? That's the least sexiest phrase I've ever heard. <laughs> you won't be saying that when you're sipping on pina coladas with me on the Oracle's private yacht, or picking out the travertine for that new open kitchen remodel you always wanted. Besides, it's way better than all the other terrible things I was doing on the internet before crypto came around. Mm, I guess you're right, but I still want to know more. It's just so confusing still. Oh, ho, 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 my dear. You have much to learn, but it's just too much to explain with mere words, so let me show you. There was an old lady who lived in a shoe. All her money was in crypto, and she didn't know what to do. She couldn't get a loan or finance her home. Then she lost her private keys in the move. Private keys? Private keys are just a 12-word phrase given to you whenever you download a crypto wallet. Most people just forget about them, but that's a great mistake. Lose your private keys and you may never see your crypto again. Especially if you want to spill coffee on your laptop or jump into the hot tub with your smartphone in your pocket. Always keep your private keys written down and stored in a filing cabinet. Also, banks don't really like crypto since it's still such a volatile asset. So good luck getting a loan from a bank or a new apartment if all your money is in crypto. This all sounds really dangerous already, but I guess that's a price we have to pay to have total financial freedom. Big Brother can hear us through our phones already. It's bad enough that all the money gets printed from one place. Exactly, my dear. You're learning so fast. Read me another story. Okay. Humpty Dumpty sat on a lawn as the market dumped and had a great fall. The prices were dropping, the gropers were flopping. Humpty Dumpty got liquidated and lost it all. Liquidated? Getting liquidated just means you were using too much leverage trading your cryptos. Some people are too impatient to wait for the market to go up or down a lot, so they use leverage to get more profits from less price action. But be careful. Using leverage means you are borrowing other people's money, which means there must be some incentive for them to help you. What's the incentive? If you predict the market wrong and it goes the other direction, there is a liquidation price where if it reaches that price, you lose all the money you put into that trade. This just keeps getting crazier and crazier. And what the hell is flopping and groping? It's how we express our love when the lights go out. Ooh, I'm just kidding, baby. It's just a term we use to describe all the people who are desperate to make back their lost crypto. They flood into our inboxes like locusts. It's impossible to help them all. But Cryptoface and I try our best with our BitMEX consultations to help them. We teach them about trade analysis, using leverage, Bollinger Bands, stop losses, market makers versus market takers, moving averages, etc. And if anyone wants to schedule a consultation, all they have to do is private message either me or Cryptoface for inquiries. I won't even ask what all that other stuff is. Let's just read the next story. Well, fine. Little Miss Muffet thought she was Warren Buffett and put her whole stack into Tron. 
It went down to point oh three cents, as she sold to pay rent. She went long as a Chinese Ching Chong. I think I understand. She put too much money in crypto? Exactly, my dear. Crypto is still far away from mass adoption, and there's word going around of an altcoin apocalypse on the horizon. Shitcoins like Tron, Doge, Bitcoin, and Verge just aren't going to cut it in an overly saturated market. Right now, Bitcoin and Ethereum are really the only two cryptos with a promising future. Even Ethereum acts like a shitcoin sometimes, and even with 5x leverage you can still get liquidated within $5 in price movement. Oh honey, I'm worried for you. I hope you're investing wisely. You have nothing to fear. I also invest in cattle futures. I have a profitable YouTube channel, and I always use a stop loss with a clear entry and trade target, so I don't get Thanos and lose half my investment in one trade. What's a Chinese Ching Chong? A Chinese Ching Chong is just something Bitcoin always does when it shoots up in price. It always seems to have four impulse waves, fooling everyone to buy more and more crypto. Then when it's super overbought, the Chinese come and push their button, wrecking the entire market and liquidating everyone. And it's all completely legal. Those dang Chinese. I know. Screw the Chinese. But didn't she invest in Tron? Well, yes, but Bitcoin has over 35% market dominance. So whenever Bitcoin goes up, all the other shit coins go up too. Same when it goes down. I think I understand everything now. Thank you for explaining everything so clearly. Mm, I think I want to invest in Crypto Kitty. <clears throat> no! One of us needs to still have money left over if all this goes to shit and the ETFs never get approved. And plus, you should just invest in a... Hello? Hello? Oh, well, good night, sweet princess. If you enjoyed our presentation, make sure you like and subscribe for more crypto-related content. Bravo, 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 bravo. Giveaway coming soon.